Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Lovely to see you all. Uh, welcome to Wonder Wednesday in association with the Great Science Share. I'm Dr. Chips, and I hope you are well. Got a great, great session for you today. I've been playing with this this morning, what we're going to be making today. It's a bit messy. I've got a rather sticky floor now. Uh, you might be able to hear it sort of sticking on the bottom of my shoes. So, a um, bit of advice, maybe go outside for this. Not too far though, because we're not allowed to go too far, but in our own back garden. But yeah, really cool stuff coming up um, this uh, week, or today. Um, and as I say, each week, a Wonder Wednesday is in association with the Great Science Share. So straight away, a uh, big thank you to Helen Spring from Spring Learning and Dr. Lynn Bianchi for providing the resources for the Wonder Wednesday sessions. I'm going to show you where you can download the uh, what am I saying? The sheet to support you today um, from the website, and do also go and have a look at the Great Science Share website and get involved with that. Um, but yeah, lovely to be back in the swing of things, really. Yesterday, wow, I got lots of emails about the puzzles yesterday. Lots of people, including members of my own family, who were finding the puzzles, um, well, well, a little bit tricky, maybe. Um, but my, my mum didn't. She just went and Googled it and found out the answer, apparently, according to my dad. But I've had people sending me in emails saying that they got it first time. Other people saying, I've spent the whole day trying to do this and I can't do it. And that's great. It's great that you've engaged your brain. You're developing those logical reasoning skills. So we're going to jump on the showcase blog in a second. And we're going to have a look at all of those um, super videos that have been sent in. Uh, it wasn't so much the Sudoku ones, it was the uh, the other one, the, the triangle one, the, the pointing one that I think had everyone confused. Oh, and I forgot to give you your riddle yesterday. No one pointed that out. After saying that what I was going to do was start giving you a riddle um, for each day, I forgot. So I've made a note on my sheet here to definitely tell you the riddle because I've got a good one. It's a, it's a riddle that I heard, I think my granddad told me it when I was younger. He'd read it in the paper, I think, and it had me guessing for a long time. So I'm going to leave you with that today. So, okay, let's go jump straight onto the showcase blog, first of all then, and have a look at all of the wonderful work that came in from yesterday. So I'm gonna come around here, and I'm gonna click on this, there we go. And let's go to the showcase blog. So, here we go, logical puzzles to get you thinking, thanks to everybody who sent in what they had been up to. We got Austin and Penelope. Uh, first of all here. Now, I'm not too sure whether we've got all the way to the end of this puzzle. I'd really like your enthusiasm and a, and a really good effort. Um, but at the moment, Austin and Penelope, we've only got three on our bottom row and four on the next one up. So I think that you might still need to do a little bit more logical reasoning on yours today and thinking about how you can get it through to being a complete triangle pointing in the opposite direction. And in fact, actually, if you just pay attention, I'm about to play some uh, videos from people that have worked it out. So then you can see how you can get that final step. But excellent effort to you too. Abdullah must first sent in his completed Sudoku challenge sheet also sent me a screenshot because he was just catching up on the daily dose about cyber security um, from before Easter and was learning, was practicing creating really uh, secure passwords. And he had created one that would take forever, forever for a computer to crack. I'm not quite sure how that's calculated, but very, very secure. Although mum, I think said in the email that it was perhaps very long and difficult to remember. And here he is, first of the videos demonstrating how this problem is done. The, over to you. Our apologies, you might not be able to hear him here, but let's just watch. Boom, there we go. And look at that confidence there, Abdullah. Okay, yeah, so that, uh, let's go through. We've got a few more. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull my microphone out. It's going to be about 30 seconds, 30, 40 seconds or so of silence. But then after that, we'll be able to hear the sound on these videos. So just bear with me one second. Uh, 
Testing, testing. Right, okay, I'm back. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So now let's have a look. So these are the Welsh boys. Here we go. First one. It's hexagon here. And then we've got left with these three. What do we do with these three? Love this logical reasoning here. What do you think? Pick one up and move it somewhere. Bit of guidance from Dad there, I think. Boom, there we go, gets it. Okay, <laughs> love it. I love that we could see the thinking process uh, that was going on there, logical reasoning. Uh, this, I think, is your brother. This was attempt one. <laughs> and we lost count at attempt five. But there you go, you got it in the end. And perseverance and persistence is just as important as getting it quickly. So well done to you. Ella, I think it was your first time tuning in yesterday. So hello, um, Ella. Um, excellent, well done with your Sudoku challenge sheet. Your six page. Now, let's just watch your video page with your Shopkins. Look, Paige does it slightly differently to everyone else and the way I did it, actually. So you've, you've moved the same ones, but the way you do it, I love the fact that you do it in a sort of rotational, there's a bit of rotational symmetry in the movements you're doing. You take the corner one from each and move it and move it. Love it. Absolutely fantastic. So uh, well done to you. Um, who have we got next? We've got Sammy with his rocks. One. God, you can hear those hitting the floor. I'd get in trouble if I hit the floor with rocks that hard. Two. Three. There we go. Woohoo. Well done to you, Sammy. And Zaina and Nanny Pat, I hope you are well. Love what you sent me because you basically sent me the algorithm for how to do this puzzle. Brilliant. You've actually uh, written out step-by-step -step instructions. You've color coded it to show which, where they each move. Absolutely fantastic, you two. Well done. Uh, Zikra and Umar, um, well done to you. You both had to go to the Sudoku challenge, in, uh, challenge. I think you're uh, first time watching the show yesterday as well. So welcome. And we've got a regular here, the queen of thumbs up. Here is Jess. Uh. This is my triangle, and I'm going to show you in three steps how you can change the triangle to move the other way. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well done, Jess. Excellent. Um, and very well explained and demonstrated as well. You could be a teacher, perhaps. Hassan, well done to you. Um, with your Sudoku uh, challenge sheet completed. Hasib from London. And Hasib, I'm very jealous. It looks like you've got a pool table in your house. There we go. Job done, Hasib. Short and sweet. And Max and Phoebe, who did it with ginger biscuits and then ate them afterwards, just as you should. Look at that. Job done. Well very done. well done to you. Usman told me that my Sudoku challenges were too easy, so I found one that was harder on an app and completed it. Well done to you, Usman, and thank you for tuning in. Um, and Lily, your completed Sudoku sheet, along with Inez. Hi, Inez, I know that you often um, tune in. Rakea said they were too easy as well. Yes, well, Rakea, if they were too easy, you should have done what Usman did, shouldn't you? So I teach both Rakea and Usman. Um, so I am allowed to be a little bit cheeky there to Rakea, but I know that she will now go and find a hard Sudoku challenge and she will complete it and send it in, won't you, uh, Rakea? Um, and finally, Reggie, um, I think first time tuning in for you as well yesterday and you were having a go at your Sudoku challenge sheet as well, so well done to you. Love your cool Paul Smith top there as well. So there we go. Lovely. It was always wonderful to see...